Good evening, Guillermo. Good evening, teacher. Divin Marlon Marlon Good evening teacher How are you today, guys? How do you feel? Okay, we have only three students. Four now, three now. <laughs> Good evening, Raquel. And good evening, Evelyn. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Marixa. Good evening, teacher. Okay, guys, let's start the class for today. Okay, the class for today, the topic is going to be how to use cool for polite and formal request. Okay, remember that yesterday we were talking about uh, some issues that you had uh, with some equipment, example, printer, and cell phones and computers. Okay, so today we are going to continue with the same vocabulary, with the same topic, but related to asking for requests, uh, making requests using could. So the class is going to be about, and then you are going to see what this is, what this is about. 
Okay, the unit number four is the export. And the objective is make cool for polite. Sorry. Make cool for polite and formal requests. So the thing that we are going to ask uh, today is, uh, is request, and we are going to use could. Continue. Okay, model auxiliary could and can for request. The topic is using could. But actually, uh, in the manual, we also we use can. So we are going to see the two, can and could, for asking for requests. What are can and could? Okay, they are a type of auxiliary. This is important. You have to know that can and could are auxiliaries. Auxiliary verb. Remember that we have, when we use the simple present, we have do and does as an auxiliary. And then with, now we are going to use models. But what is the difference using models with uh, auxiliaries like a do and does? That's what we are going to see in this moment. Okay, they are type of auxiliary verb we use with other verbs to add more meaning to the verb. Okay, for example, if I use write a report, okay, it has some meaning, but if I add could write a report, it's different, right? So what is could? It's the model auxiliary that gives more meaning to the verb. With modal verbs, we use the infinitive form. For example, you say, could you write? Then you use the infinitive form. The base form is infinitive. Okay, no S in the third person, nothing. Okay, it's the base form. We use the models could and can for requests. Could is more polite and formal. Can is less polite and informal. Okay, that is the difference in the two. What is could? Okay, when you use could is podría, right? And can, puede. Do you listen to the difference? Podría. Puede. So, podría is more polite, más amable, okay, más amable, more polite. Can is less polite, es menos amable. Okay, and it's informal. If you talk something formal, you use could. If you talk something in informal way, you use can. Okay. We also use models for asking for something, making a request. Can you do me a favor? More informal. Could you say thanks to your mom for me? More polite. I finished my homework, can I go now? More informal. Could I speak to Amy, please? More polite. He has said more polite, but it's also more formal. Okay, it's clear how you are going to, if when are you going to use could and can? Okay, could and can, mm -hmm. yes, are for asking for requests. So let's continue. Okay, how to use could for polite and formal requests. Okay, this is the structure. <clears throat> okay, how to use could for polite and formal requests. The model verb could is used for polite and formal requests. The structure is could plus subject 
plus bird is the base form plus complement. Examples, could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? Okay, as you see, cool, subject, base form of the verb, complement. Cool, subject, base form of the verb, complement. Okay, the pronunciation is, is cool. You don't pronounce the L. Don't pronounce the L. Only you say cool, cool. Could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? Okay, now see how you use can. How to use can for informal requests? Can is used to ask informal requests. The structures. Can plus subject plus verb, the base form plus complement. Examples. Can you write these reports, please? Can you help deliver these letters today, please? Okay, can, the pronunciation is can, can, can. Can you write, okay, as you see, can, subject, base form of the verb, complement. Can, subject, base form of the verb, complement. That is how you use can. Now we are going to do some exercises. Okay, here you have, for example, polite requests. If it is a polite request, and you say, I want to have some coffee. What you are going to write here is a polite request. What you are going to use, can or could? Could. Could, right. So. Ask a question, please, and complete this. We have this slide, and then you finish the number five, and then we have the num the next slide. We have up to the number 10. So do it individually in your notebook, please. Beginning with this. En sus cuadernos, ok, en sus cuadernos.
Feeling. Okay, Rosalie. Guillermo, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Maritza, did you finish? Maritza. No, teacher, todavía no. Okay, I'm going to assign who is going to give me the answers for each. Okay, the number one, Guillermo. The number two, Rosalie. The number three, Marixa. The number four, Katy. Number five, Doris. Number six, Marvin. Number seven, Evelyn. Number eight, Raquel, uh, Sara. Number. Teacher, disculpe, yo no veo la nombre H. Ah, hoy sí que la vi. Esa no la había visto. Mm. Número seis no hay tampoco. Pero Number six. No aparece. No eh, ah, ok. It's only number six is. <laughs> Uh, number seven is Raquel. No, uh, Evelyn, <laughs> sorry. Number seven Yo is... Yo soy eight. Number seven Yo is eight. Evelyn. And number eight is uh, no. Sara. Okay. And number nine is Raquel, but I don't know Raquel. Are you participating, Raquel? Okay, you are number nine. And Marlon, I don't know if Marlon is here. Marlon? Hello. You are number 10. Okay, begin. Begin with mm, number one. Could I have some coffee? Could I have? Could I? When you pronounce this, you pronounce like a the D with the I, right? Could I? Could I? Could I have some coffee? Could I have some coffee? Number two. Uh, 
Number two. Number, number two. <laughs> yeah, no, ya he encendido el micrófono. Number two. Could I sit here, please? Very good. Number three. Cool. I have to stay with you. Okay. Remember the pronunciation is cool. 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 Don't pronounce the L. Don't pronounce the L. And it's cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool what? Cool. I have to stay with you. Uh-huh. And when you pronounce cool with I is together, you say could I. Could I? Could I repeat? Uh, cool. I. Could I? Could I? Could I? Could I? Could I? Como que fuera una sola palabra. Como cool ah. es una palabra. I es la otra, pero could usa I. lo une y dice could I. Could I. Could I. Could I. Could I what? To stay with you. Uh, no, but ahí no lleva el to, ¿ok? No lleva el to. Uh, okay. Could es un modal auxiliar que no lleva to. Want sí lleva, pero como oh, ahorita okay. lo estamos pasando con a could, right? Could I stay uh -huh. could, with could you? Could I stay with you? Uh -huh. Only, please, no. Yes. No, okay. Please. <laughs> well, yes. I already did it. <laughs> okay, number four. Can you pick up the children? Can you... Can you, can you, can you, can you pick up the children here because it's no it's very informal it's not necessary to use please because it's not polite if he is polite you must use please okay the number five number five could you pick up the children? Could you? Could you? Here, yeah, do you consider it necessary to use please? Yes. Please. Okay, could you pick up the children, please? Do you see the difference in the number four and the number five? They are the same. But one is with can and the other is with could because the number four is informal, so you use can. And number five, because it's polite, you use could. Now let's, is is excellent, no mistakes. Now the number seven. Can you pay a um? Can you give me a hand, right? Can you give me a hand? Give me, okay, give me a hand. Uh -huh. Can you give me a hand? Can you give me, give me, give me, give me? Here, okay. when you pronounce, 
give me, uh, usually you say, give me, give me. You don't say, give me, you say, give me. Can you, can you, can you give me a hand? Can you, can you give me a hand? Can you give me a hand? Ajá, que le dé una mano, ¿va? pero no es una mano literal. ¿va? Okay, number eight. Can you to pass me the salt? Can you pass me the salt? No. Can you pass me the salt? Pass me, pass me. Okay, number nine. Can you to come over late? Can you repeat, please? To come. Okay, here you don't use to. To come. No, you don't use to. No usa to. No lleva la, oh. pal la palabra to. So can you? Can you come over late? Uh -huh. Can you come over? Come over later. 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 Okay, come over. Es un phrase of verb que significa visitarlos, visitar. Come over. Do you come over your parents? Do you come over your friends? A friend came over yesterday. Okay, come over. Okay, number 10. Can, I, can you say you're open? Can you use? Can you? Uh, is mm -hmm. here. I come. I use your open. Can you or can I? I. Uh -huh. Can I use your pen? Can I use your pen? Can I use your pen? Okay, here, if you notice all of the uh, sentences were with I, you say, I want you to give me a hand. I want you to pass me the salt. I want you to come over later. I want to, I want you to use your pen. But some of you say, can you, can you, and some of you say, can I? Let me give a review of this in the number seven. I want you to give me a hand. Can you give me a hand? Yes, it's okay. I want you to pass me the salt. Can you pass me the salt? Yes, it's okay. I want you to come over later. Can you come over? Yes. I want you, I want to use your pen. Can I use your pen? It's okay. Okay, guys. I hope that you have the same. Espero que tengan lo mismo, right? I hope you have the same. Now, we are going to play. Let's say play a game. Let's play a game. I want to explain this in Spanish. Bueno, cuando voy a explicar procedimientos de actividades que me gusta que queden claras, lo hago en español. Porque es lo, el procedimiento lo que voy a explicar. Ok, entonces vamos a ver. Le voy a mandar en este momento un link de, es un juego, pero nosotros no lo vamos a jugar completamente porque es un poquito largo y tendría, es, tendría que yo estar presente para poder solo enseñar y como no lo puedo compartir aquí en la clase, no lo puedo hacer. Entonces nos vamos a limitar. Ustedes van a accesar al van a accesar al link y inmediatamente les van a aparecer unas imágenes de personas que están haciendo cierta cuestión, ¿verdad? Entonces, ustedes lo que van a hacer es en el grupo asignarse eh, uno por uno, ¿verdad? Vaya, ahora usted va a decir esta, esta o todos. Ustedes decidan cómo es el provecho, que lo hagan uno por uno o todos digan el mismo, ¿verdad? Ustedes decidan. Eh, una, ustedes van a decidir si van a usar can y otros van a decidir si van a usar could. Ok, ustedes lo van a decidir. 
cuando ya haya pasado unos eh, seis, siete minutos, algo así, entonces yo voy a cerrar la sesión y les voy a preguntar desde aquí, desde mi ser, les voy a preguntar uno por uno, leyéndoles y ustedes me van a decir qué pregunta es la que usaron. ¿Ok? ¿Clear or not clear? No, teacher, yo no le entendí. Vale. Voy a mandar en este momento un link. ¿verdad? Y usted va a accesar a ese link. En ese link le van a aparecer personas. Si quieren, véanlo en el celular ahorita. Se lo voy a mandar y véanlo para que vean cómo es la cuestión. Vaya, vean ahí, entren en el cell. Hay personas haciendo ciertas cuestiones y ahí dice cierta. Por ejemplo, voy a leer uno. I want to read one. Tell me the time. ¿Ustedes consideran ahí la persona, la situación, o cómo lo haría la pregunta? Can you tell me the time or could you tell me the time? Can you? Can you? Ajá, porque es un poco rudo. ¿eh? <ríe> bueno, ya vieron. Entonces ahí en el grupo se van a decidir quiénes lo van a hacer. Y por favor, una cosa que quiero recalcar. Los grupos se hacen con el objetivo que se ayuden unos a otros. Con ese objetivo, que se haga más corto, pero también que se ayuden. Si a su compañero le cuesta pronunciar cierta palabra y usted sabe cómo se pronuncia, por favor, ayúdele. O no sé, cualquier cosa. ¿Ok? Let me see. You are in this moment. 16. Quiero ver quiénes no me están participando. Carla, Carla, ¿hay you participating, Carla? No, ok. Fátima. No, right. Hi, Así. teacher. Hello, are you participating? Hello, teacher. Yes, yes. Graciela. Yes. Ana Cristina. Are you participating, Ana? No. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Disculpen que pregunte, pero fíjense de que las actividades dependen mucho de eso, de si me participan o no, porque como si hago grupo de tres, ¿verdad? Entonces hay... Eh, tengo que poner a veces grupos de cuatro con, poniendo a alguien que solo de oyente. Porque yo necesito que sean tres participando. ¿sí? Por eso lo hago. Y eh, no sé si me va a participar Ana. Ana. Y si no la pongo como oyente. Gracias. Sí. Como oyente, vale.
Hello, Marvin, Marlon, and Graciela. We are waiting for you. Marvin and Marlon, enter to the groups, please.
Okay, guys. Everybody ready to participate? Here, everybody can participate. Okay, what question do you say in when in the picture is tell me the time? Can can you tell me the time, please? No me vayan a dejar, no me vayan a dejar sordita, por favor. Muchos participaron. Necesito que todos me participen aquí. Okay. Everybody can participate. Everybody. Okay. Tell me the time. Can you tell me the time? Maybe oh, a cup of coffee? Can can you can you, can you make me a cup of coffee? Call me a taxi. Could you call, uh, could, could you call me a you taxi, call me? please? Mm -hmm. Could you? Could you remember? Could you close the window for me? Can could you? Could you? Could you close the could you window, for window for me, please? Take out the trash for me. Can you take out? Can you take out the trash for me, please? Open the door for me. Come to. Could you open the door for me, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. Help me carry these bags. Can, Can you help me carry this bag? Let me some money. Call call to lend me some money, please. Okay, here is not an obligatory you say can or cool. It's according to your perception. Okay, it's according to your perception if you consider it's can or it's good. Okay, and the next, get me some milk from the shop. Thank you. Mm, no me están participando, voy a tener que quizás hacerlo individual. Okay, me voy a ir otra vez al principio. Okay, Katy. Pero necesito que me lo digan así rápido, okay, quickly. Hey, Kathy, tell me the time. Uh, can you tell me the time? Mm -hmm. Make me a, a cup of coffee, Raquel. Oh, you me a, cup of a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Okay, so, Doris, call me a taxi. Could you call me a taxi, please? Evelyn, put the window for me. Uh, could you close the window for me? Sarah, take out the trash for me. Um, could you take, take out the trash for me, please? Uh -huh. Take out, take out. Take out, okay. Take out the trash for me. Could you take out the trash for me, please? Inarixa, open the door. Could you open the door for me, please? Graciela, help me carry these bags. Can you help me carry these bags? Marvin, let me some money. Can you let me some money? Guillermo, get me some milk from the shop. Get me some milk from the shop. Uy, se me fue Guillermo. Could you get... 
Yes, yes. Could you? Me, uh, could you get me get me some milk from, from the shop? The shop. Marlon, turn on the air conditioning for me. Teacher, yo tuve problemas y me conecté después con el grupo, entonces solo logré hacer dos que me asignaron. Mm. Eh, eh, me a sandwich. Vaya, eh, esa quiere hacer, vaya. Meet me a sandwich. Sí. How do you make me a sandwich, please? Uh -huh. Claudia Marcela, turn on the air conditioning for me. And could you turn on the air conditioning for me, please? Fatima Fabiola, pass me my mobile phone. Could you pass me um, my, my my waterfall mobile mobile uh -huh, mobile phone please mobile phone is Susana Susana mm, Susana no le pregunté antes okay Raquel Making me a cup of coffee. Make... Mm, esa ya no le voy a preguntar porque está en, en, en ING. Me voy a ir a más adelante. Pass me my mobile phone. Pass me my mobile phone. Raquel. Okay, pass me, pass me my mobile phone. Pass me my mobile. Es Rosalía, I didn't ask Rosalía. Call me, call me pass, pass me my mobile. Could you? Okay, could you? Could, could you? you? Repeat, could you? Could you? Pass me? Pass, pass me? My mobile phone. My mobile phone. Again, okay. Could you pass me my mobile phone? Could you pass me my mobile phone? Could you pass me my mobile phone? Okay, Rosalie. I didn't ask you. I don't know why. Uh, what is it? Lend me some money. Can can you let me some money? Good. Okay. Now we have practiced the request. Now we go to the <clears throat> to the conversation. Okay. I want that uh, Guillermo. And Marcela read this conversation. Guillermo, you are Max, and Marcela, you are Joe. Okay, begin. Um, hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for, for Pete. Uh, that come we reside receive the new printer and I need help setting setting it up. Uh, could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it's an multi page MX thirty. Okay. okay. First, make sure that uh, that the power cord is plugged. All right. Is it? So you tell me what is the need to next, please. Mm, second, and uh, check that the installation CD is in the in the tray, and third, 
Once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. Teacher, puedo bajar la página. Yes, I I have it complete now. Okay. Well, you finished, right? Uh, now, this conversation, as you see, there are some requests. Which are the requests? Marlon, tell me the request that you find in the conversation. We have four requests, four requests. Four, what is the request number one? Marlon, are you watching the screen? Yes, teacher. Estoy tratando de interpretar. Sorry. Okay, maybe you need some help. Marvin. Okay, Marvin, tell me the request number one. No lo he encontrado todavía. Ahorita estoy revisando. Okay, Graciela, can you tell me the request number one? It's very easy. It's bastante fácil encontrarlas porque son las que están en negritas. Could you help me, please? Uh -huh. Could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Aunque hay una que no está en negrita, pero como no está con el patrón que hemos visto, ¿verdad? La primera ahí arriba dice, how can I help you? Porque ahí ya era una respuesta. Pero no tan así, ¿verdad? How can I help you? Más como offering help. Pero request, request, solo son estas, ¿verdad? las negritas, las negritas. Okay. Number one is, could you help me, please? And number two is, Doris. Could you tell me the model? Good. Raquel, three. Can you hold on me a second, please? Can you hold on a second, please? Okay, when you say hold on, hold on, okay, it's because you say, espere un momentito, okay, espere, que dice ahí, okay. Can you hold on a second? Can you hold on a second, please? Hold on. Can you hold on a second, please? Can you hold on a second? Can you? Can you hold on? Okay, Rosalie, what is the number four? Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Yes. Okay, thank you. Now that we have seen the request in the conversation. Can you please complete this? Fill in the blanks, use the conversation above to help yourself. Okay, what do you say? Can or could? In the number one. Can. Can, uh -huh. can you can. please can you please complete can. the question? Cool. You just call the problem, please. Can you tell me? Can. Uh, the second is cool. Uh -huh. Can you please complete the question? Can you say the complete question, please? If you oh, notice, yeah. I am asking you, I am using the request. Can you please? But uh, because... Eh, fui uh, bastante amable yo cuando les hice esas preguntas o no? 
En pedírselos, fui amable. Yes. Semi, ¿verdad? Fui semi. Porque comencé con Ken, pero terminé con please. También se puede ser semi, fíjense. Ok. The number one is, can you, okay. can you tell me what the model is? Que, could you tell me the model according to the conversation is cool. Okay, could you tell me the model? And the number, because here is not a direct question, it's indirect because it's a is. And the number two is? Could you describe the problem, please? Yes. Okay, everybody repeat, please. Hello. 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 This is Max from Tech Support. This is Max, this is Max from, from Tech Support. Tech support. Tech How can I help you? How can, How I, can I help you? you? Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. My name is Joe. My, my name Joe. is Joe. I work for pips.com. I, I work for pips.com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. El punto, si ustedes se recuerdan en, en direcciones electrónicas, como es dot com, ¿verdad? Se lee como dot. Se escribe D O T y se pronuncia dot. Dot. Dot com. Ok. I want to repeat again the question. My name is Joe. I, is My name. I work for Pips. Come. Mm, it's a question in no question, right? We re uh, repeat, please. We receive the new printer. We receive, we receive the new printer. And I need help setting it up. And, and, I, need and I need help setting it up. Setting it up. Setting. Setting it up. Setting it up. Setting it up. Y es que esa pa eso la tiene que decir de un solo, como que fuera una sola palabra. Setting it up. Setting it up. Eh, les recuerdo lo que una vez les dije de que cuando una palabra termina en consonante y la siguiente comienza con vocal, tienen que unir el sonido. Tienen que acostumbrarse a eso. Setting it up. Setting it up. Setting it up. Okay. I need help setting up. Will you help me, please? Repeat, could you help me, please? Could you, could you help me, please? No problem. No problem. Not problem. Joe. Joe. Could you tell me the model? Could, could you, you tell could me? Could you tell me the model? Could you, could you tell me? The model, 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 model. Okay, let me check. Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Can you hold on a second, please? Ah. Ah. It's an Altipage MX30. It's an um, it's an Okay. Okay. First, 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 make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged mm -hmm. in. Um, make sure, make the sure power that the power cord is plugged. Plugged in. Don't. Plugged in. Plugged in. Es como que una la D con la N, ¿verdad? Con la I quiero decir. Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It, is. it is. It is. It is. Could you tell me what 
Okay. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Could, could you could tell you me tell what, me I, what need I need to please to again what, what I va a unir el va a unir, mm -hmm. unirlo también el sonido va a decir what I what could I, you tell me what, what I, I need to do next please could you what tell I me need what I do. need to do next please mm -hmm. what I need to what I need, need to do next please second second Second. Check that Second. the installation CD. Check that the installation, the installation CD is in the tray. Is, is in, in the, the tray. tray. And third. And third. And third. 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 Once the menu appears. Once the menu. Appears, once the menu appears. On the screen, on the, on screen. the screen, click on, click on, click on, click on, click on complete install. Click on complete install. Uh -huh. Click on complete install. Okay, we have practice. Okay. And let me share this. Ok. Vaya, voy a explicar la siguiente actividad. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Vamos a ir otra vez a los breakout rooms. Lo único que esta vez sí solamente es en parejas. Porque son, la conversación solo es de dos. Lo vamos a hacer así. Ustedes tienen aquí, eh, se recuerdan que yo les di estos tech support issues, ¿verdad? Y agregué unos. Pero aquí en este otro lo he puesto solitos. Eh, vaya, lo que voy a hacer es, como en la conversación hay un problema de una impresora, ¿verdad? Y de ahí van preguntando y dan tres cosas, ¿verdad? Como ustedes oyeron ahí es one, eh, eh, first, sorry, first, second, and third. O sea, tres pasos de las cosas que van a ir viendo para arreglar la para ver cómo es que solucionan el asunto. Vaya, entonces, el problema yo se lo voy a dar por pareja. Y aquí voy a nombrar quiénes son los que me van a trabajar por cada tema. Solo voy a decir un nombre y luego le asigno a la pareja. De, les asigno a la pareja, ¿ok? Vaya, fíjense bien cómo voy a ir asignando. Vaya, Katy, usted se me va a quedar con el Slow Running Computer. Vaya averiguando ya qué posibles soluciones le van a dar a eso mientras, mientras hago los grupos y todo eso. ¿ok? Vayan pensando ya ahí usted. Running computer. Um, veamos. Eh, Guillermo. You pop up as all over your computer. Rosalie, you print it is offline. Yes, it will. Rosalie. Um, Graciela, yes. you account disabled. Susana, si sí, no creo que no, no me está participando, ¿verdad? Ok, voy a dejar de compartir para ver quiénes son los que, porque ya ahorita he asignado solo cuatro, veamos. 
Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. Entonces tengo que dar seis temas. Eh, let me see, who, 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 who. Claudia Marcela. Yes. Claudia, you will work with password and access issues recovering. And the last one, Doris. Doris, you full print quality. Okay. Vaya, voy a hacer los grupos ahí me, mientras tanto vayan pensando cómo van a hacer lo de los tres pasos a los que ya les asigné. Eh, me van a dar un momentito mientras este asigno a cada quien que me va a quedar en los grupos para que me queden cabal los siete, ¿ok? Los siete, las siete parejas de la forma que ya organicé. No, the six, sorry. What happened, Marvin? No sé por qué me saca de la otra sesión. Quizá le está fallando el internet en este momento porque es la razón por la que saca. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah.
Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, no questions. Eh, eh, dice Marvin que él no tiene tema. Vamos a compartir el tema o cómo. Sí, el tema es de una sola, como solo es la conversación, ¿verdad? Y el, ah. la conversación solo es de un asunto. Ok. O sea, es el que le digo, es el problema y ese es el que van a solucionar. Ah, vaya. Ok. 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 I need help setting up. Uh -huh. No questions here? Mm, no, teacher. No. We're good. Okay, I'm going to. Vaya, aquí dice que aquí le vamos a poner que ha recibido una nueva computadora. No. no eh, questions. ¿Qué uh, yes, teacher. It's clear. Mm -hmm. What is your problem? A slow running computer. Ah, uh -huh, slow running computer. Y el tercero es si el cable está conectado, era verdad. Questions? The cable is connected. Do you have questions? The printer is offline. No, que no va, no lo vi. Any questions? <risa> ah, ya veo que sí, ya aprendieron a, a compartir teléfono. Eso estamos intentando aquí viendo cómo funciona. Ya vieron la que ya pueden. Es que cuesta, teacher. Y peligra muchas cosas. <risa> <risa> No, en serio, cuesta, porque ya dos veces intentamos y no nos había agarrado hasta ahorita. Ok. Ya había intentado. Graciela, eh, eh. ¿es you account disabled? disabled. Uh -huh. O sea, que se le han borrado las cuentas, pa. se le han des, uh... deshabilitado. Ajá, como que he perdido, qué sé yo. Y tenemos que. Okay. Uh -huh. Sí. Y okay. así tres soluciones. Uh -huh. Real problems, right? Hello. Hello, teacher. Help me. Ajá. Quiere que le haga la conversación. Es que no sabemos cómo va a ser. Vaya, a ustedes les tocó el de. Ninguno, no, 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 no
No, no está con ninguna, pero nosotros agarramos una. No, como no, si sí le dije, le dije poor print quality. De verdad. Ajá, poor print, eh, poor print quality. O, o sea, de que la calidad de impresión está mala. Ajá, entonces nosotros ahí vamos a hacer una conversación. Uh -huh. Donde igualita la de la, de la del ejemplo. Lo único ah, que les cambia es el, el problema, el problema. Y, 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 y las soluciones que van ahí, ¿verdad? Ustedes van a decir first y van a decir cierta cosa que van a hacer. Second. Podría ir desde revisar los cartuchos. ¿Verdad? Este, revisar los cartuchos o sugerir que los cambien. Lo primero sería revisarlos, ¿verdad? De allí sugerir que si eh, los recargue o no sea algo así. O sea, ese inglés se tienen que irlo poniendo ustedes. Ya, ¿verdad? Ah. Ya, ya está como es. ¿Ya le di sí. una idea? Ya, son tres pasitos. Lo primero, si sí, por quality. Hasta podría ser que revisaran el papel también, porque a veces el papel tiene que ver. Uh -huh. ya, ustedes son uh -huh. las expertas, ahí la tejo. <risa> ok. Pero, ¿cuál es? O sea, pero, footprint quality, ¿cuál es? Es la calidad de la impresión. O sea, por, digamos, ¿por qué están saliendo los colores malos o algo así en las impresiones? Click on you forgot your password. Okay. Azul. De aquí, mi amor. No. Del bote. Este va a ir de ahí. Eh, sería como no hay no, no hay 
Nice, me dijo. ¿O qué me dijo? No le dio me dijo, perdón. No, no, no hay virus, sería no de, no de ir. O no de ir. No de ir, virus. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces la poner. It's good. <ríe> Eh, y aquí le voy a poner el tree. Ajá. Veamos, veamos. Uh -huh. Va, entonces sería. Um, eh, ah, usted, eh, comenz, usted comenzaría if, porque se. Este, este, la última vez. The, uh -huh, the cable is connected. Is Max, pero sería la última. Digamos, ay, ay, ay. <risa> Hello, Marlon. ¿Qué, ¿Qué problemas podría suceder de, de compartir el teléfono? Me quedó esa duda. Es que, de hecho, ahorita estábamos con la compañera intentando eh, eh, traducir una palabra y no permite en una ocasión que o sea, solo permite compartir de la pantalla dentro de, de, de la sala porque hace rato teníamos ese problema no sé qué, qué o pasaba o sea, que no lo puede es... usar para otra cosa exactamente y Ajá, no porque sé... fíjese, fíjese teacher, que ahorita estábamos tratando de usar el traductor así como lo dijo el compañero y yo eso como soy la que está compartiendo la pantalla supuestamente entre a Google pero él no podía ver eso sino que solo veía el teclado mm. Y fíjense de que yo cuando lo, eh, me salí de, de esa sala y entré a la principal, no, no podía ingresar. Me había quedado como en el limbo. <ríe> y yo dije, ay, a ver si por eso era. No, pero no, no. De, sí. bueno. Pudo haber sido, pero a saber, ¿verdad? <ríe> en eso de la tecnología nunca se está. Ok, sí. Bye. See you. Bye. Hello. How is everything? ¿Cómo va todo? So, so. <risa> es el único que me quedaron tres. Como, como no quedan para acabar en las pares, siempre me queda algún grupo de tres.
de ella le va a responder. Ok, my number. First my cell phone your, number. Your cell phone number. Ajá. My cell phone number y se lo digo. Ajá. Y usted ya me lo dice. Va. Y luego. Hello, I hope you are ready because the time is over. Ok, ya. Uh, solo un ratitito más, teacher. <laughs> one minute, one minute, hurry up. Ok. Are you ready? Ready, teacher. Ready, teacher. Okay, I hope that you are ready. Uh, ready or not, I will say, uh, antes de, voy a pasar la lista porque no le he pasado. Y Sara, no se me vaya a salir, oiga. Y ayer cabala, decirle iba cuando ya no okay, estaba. Se es me que ayer se tenía, me tenía la otra compu. Tenía la otra compu y estaba fallando el micrófono. Ok, Adi, no, ok. Ana Cristina, I don't know if he, let me see if she's here. Um, yes, Ana Cristina. Claudia Marcela. Claudia Marcela, Claudia, yes. Yes. Doris. Dory. Present. Evelyn. Present. Fátima Fabiola. Present teacher. Graciela. Present. Graciela. Present. Present. Guillermo. <laughs> Present. Is Amar? No, all right. Carla Janet? Yes. Kathy Maria? Present teacher. Marixa? Present. Marlon? Present. Marvin? Present. 
Raquel. Present. Rosalie. Present. Sarah. Present, teacher. And Susan. Okay, let's begin. The third number one is Claudia and Marvin. Go ahead. Okay. Vamos, vamos a hacer una cosa que no hemos hecho anteriormente. Vaya, pero necesito que todos colaboren. Eh, solamente va a tener encendida la cámara los que van a participar en el momento. Eh, los demás la apagan. Solo van a quedar los que, la pareja que lo va a decir. Y eh, Claudia y Marvin. Ok. Um, okay. Uh, hello, this is Marcela from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Marcela. My name is Marvin. Excuse, uh, excuse me, excuse me, Claudia, your camera. Ah, ahí está, no sale. No. Ah, espera, es que ya casi no tengo que ir. Permítame. Voy, 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 voy. Y ahora. Oh, yes. Ok, begin, begin okay. again. Ok. Um, hello, this is Marcela from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Marcela. My name is Marvin. I had a problem with my email. Okay, no problem. And um, I, I call you, tell me uh, a question, please. Um, you forget your password or have another problem? Yes, I forget my password. Okay. Can you uh, tell me the your number, your phone number, please? Uh, seven, seven, two, 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 seven, when you you receive the, the, the link and there enter the link please okay one the moment yes i have the receive the link okay in the blanks uh, in the link uh, you enter the new password okay thank you I'm you're happy. welcome very nice you made it very real i like it <laughs> okay next is so let me see. guillermo and raquel Tiene apagado el micrófono, Guillermo. Hello, this is Guillermo from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Guillermo. My name is Raquel. I work for Pets, the con. We receive the new computer and we see pop up at our old over our computer. Could you help me, please? No problem, Raquel. Uh, could you tell me the model? Let me check this computer. This it's an ultipage and X thirty. Hope that the computer has an and 
All right. No, no, it isn't. Could you tell me, tell me what I need to do to do next, please? Uh, sure. Uh, second, you have to download an antivirus and configure it uh, to avoid at. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Nice, nice conversation. Good advice. Okay, upload a uh, antivirus. That is the best solution. Okay, next is Kathy and Marixa. Okay. Uh, hello, this is Kathy. Support. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Katia. My name is Marixa. I work for pips.com. I have a problem with my computer. Could you help me, please? No problem, Marixa. So you tell me the problem, please? Well, my computer is slow running. Okay. First, check hard dry strong space. It has 100 gigabytes. Uh, could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, please scan your computer to verify if it is infected with any virus. virus. All right, oh, no virus. It's good. And three, delete temporal files. Oh yes, that was the problem, thank you. You're welcome. Finish the chat. Good advice, okay? The majority of the time, that is the problem. You have many files. You need to clean the files on, on the disk. Okay, thank you. Let's see who is next. Fatima and Rosalie. Yes, teacher. Okay, teacher. I start. Hello, this is this is Fabiola Fatima, from the teacher. Fatima, sorry, sorry, sorry. Fatima, in your camera. Ahorita le enciendo, teacher. Hello, this is this is Fabiola from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Fabiola. My name is Rosalie. Um, I work for Pits.com. I have pro problem in, with my printer is online. Could you help me, please? Yes, okay. First, check if the printer is on. All right, it is. Could, could you tell me what I need to do no, to the next, please? Okay, second, check if the printer has paper. And third, check if the cable is connected. Oh no, the cable is not connected. It's all right. Thank you. It's very funny, right? At the end, all the problem that it was disconnected. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but remember that the majority of the time they're real, okay? They're real. <laughs> because, they, well, this can be real. But the majority of the time is because you need to add the printer to the panel control. And then you are online again. 
that's the majority of the times. So I tell you because that happens to me in the past, it happened. Now, no. Okay, thank you. I like it. Thank you. X is Graciela and Marlon. Okay. Hello, this is Marlon from Teach Support. How to how can I help? Hi Marlon. My name is Graciela. I work for the office. And we have an old laptop and we have to do a document. And I need help for using since the since the laptop saved me that account disabled. No problem, Graciela. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. The laptop is HP and use Windows 10. Okay, first, can you check if the Microsoft Listen is active? Okay. Yes, I already verified and the license expires until May 3rd, 2023. Okay, I will have to visit because the problem it can be the hardware. Okay, thanks. I will wait for you as long as possible in my office. Okay, finish teacher. Thank you. Thank you to you. Okay, next is Doris, Evelyn, and Sarva. Evelyn. Begin, begin. Okay, ahorita. Ahorita. Okay, Evelyn Molina in the department. Sara. Um, okay, hello Evelyn. Hello. This is uh, Doris from Corin, and I would like to report a problem with my printer. I called you. Help me, please. What is the problem? Uh... My printer have a poor. Print quality. The print are multiple white lines in the print. If the print the printer is working bloody bloody for both things. Charging needs to be retained. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I don't know if you are gonna do it with Sara. No. Hello. Yes. Este, si quieren lo puedo, re, o sea, como, con, como, 
una de ellas lo puedo repasar yo. No lo habían hecho, no lo habían preparado así. Eh, solo dos. Ok, so, eh, let's finish, ok, stop sharing. Stop sharing. Ahorita. What is, what is <laughs> sharing? Sorry, que no, no le encuentro. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. ok, si ya se fijaron, ya nos pasamos de la hora, ¿verdad? Pero hoy veo que algunos ya se salieron automáticamente. Este, bueno, eh, Sara, yo le había dicho que se quedara, pero eh, eh, quizás. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, sí, tomorrow. Yes. Porque de todas maneras, fíjense de que como este, hay unos participantes que no, no asistieron a este curso, tengo ahí que no, ya con usted termino y, y de ahí ya no tengo a nadie. Entonces, vaya, voy a aprovechar este momento para recordarles la información. Eh, ¿Se acuerdan que yo les había dicho que si iban a recibir un correo, verdad, con el, un enlace para hacer la encuesta? ¿Ya la recibieron? A mí no, me... aún no. Yo no he revisado mi correo. Vaya, sí, entonces sí. si no lo han revisado o quizás no, porque más de alguien se hubiera fijado. Que si tienen la cuenta vinculada en el celular, siempre les va a salir la notificación. Bueno, entonces recordándoles que no lo vayan a hacer, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a hacer todos juntos el viernes. Lástima que ya se salieron, pero mañana lo voy a volver a recordar. Eh, que ese día no tienen que faltar nadie, porque nadie tiene que dejar de hacer la, la encuesta. Si la persona no hace la encuesta, entonces tiene problemas en su eh, promoción, porque es uno de los requisitos que piden para culminar el curso. Entonces es que ustedes tienen que asistir ese día a clases. Pero a mí solo me mandaron lo de la reinscripción para el siguiente módulo. Mm, sí, ese es otro asunto, eso ya es aparte. Pero lo, lo de la encuesta no me lo han enviado. Teacher, es que yo en, la, en el módulo anterior lo enviaron el mismo viernes, pero creo que es para que no, no entremos antes del tiempo. Ah, sí, pero ya me ha pasado a mí que lo han mandado antes. Este, vaya, solamente recordarles eso y otra cosa que por favor pónganse al día en la plataforma, lo tienen que haber terminado todo, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan salir promovidos y, y puedan continuar con los cursos, ¿verdad? Ustedes tienen que siempre eh, ver eh, para el futuro, o sea, no vayan a, a, a estar pensando en no seguir los cursos. <risa> bueno, eso es personal, ¿verdad? Pero eh, sí, por favor, terminen la plataforma, porque eso es evaluado y la asistencia es evaluada, ¿verdad? Y que llenen la encuesta también. Es uno de los tres requisitos. No se me puede ir nadie del curso si no haya llenado la encuesta. Entonces, solamente ese recordatorio. Y eso sería todo. Si no hay alguna pregunta respecto a la finalización del curso o algo así, que no es hoy, va, pero por si acaso. No. No, teacher. No, no teacher. teacher. Ok, so that's everything. And have a nice night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night.